to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Because this prayer you are about to make is not a poem you are reciting, my dear brothers and sisters. It is a decision that will define your eternal destiny. Now God is giving us an opportunity. I want you to lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me. Everyone, say Lord Jesus. One more time, say it. Say Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I come to you just as I am. I ask you to help me forgive my sin I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for me tonight I declare that you are my Savior I declare that you are my Lord I declare that you are my king the power of sin of satan of hell of the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i live for jesus and jesus alone amen and amen keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for this harvest that you have brought to yourself they have made this declaration and based on the authority of scripture we declare that they are recipients of eternal life from tonight i decree and declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and i declare that you begin to walk in the newness of life go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ amen and amen can we give them a big big hand clap all over this stadium hallelujah now here's what i want you to do for me very quickly there are counselors waving their hands all of you there are quite a number of you so i may request that you walk fast those in front make sure you walk fast now all of you please I want you to walk to my left which is your right the counselors will receive you they'll give you a form to complete and then you rush back to your seat because we're about to pray for miracles right now let's celebrate them as they go everyone every one of them let's appreciate them as they go is this the best you can do Hallelujah, you have won the victory. Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. One more time, sing hallelujah.
Please help them very quickly. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. That could not hold you down. You are the reason, King. You're seated in majesty. You are the reason, King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. When Jesus hung upon that cross, hear me, ladies and gentlemen. When he hung upon that cross bleeding, he made a statement in power. It is finished. Someone shout it in victory. Say it is finished. It is finished. Ah. What are you turning to wine? of the line there's no one like you none like you into the darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise there's no Jesus tonight. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power. Our God. Our God. And if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God Listen to me. I want you to listen to me. When Jesus died and when he rose again, I want you to know that he rose triumphant. How many of you believe that? This is what the Bible says. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil ones. I want to pray right now. And in this prayer, I want to minister like I did yesterday to people, families, individuals who have been under any and all kinds of bondage. I want to pray for you right now. An end has come. The Bible says that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Are you ready to celebrate the hand of God? Now, please listen to me. Whether you are an usher or not, here's what I want you to do for me. It will not take too much time and will be done tonight. That everyone who is under the anointing like we did yesterday, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers are, are limited to attend to the people here. I'm going to begin to pray. And as the power of God comes upon you, please, I'd like you to bring those people out for me if I request it. There are people, men and women, 
who have please cleared the way from so that we don't have anyone falling on those who are on the wheelchairs and all of that I want to pray for you and here's what I want you to do tonight we are going to shout it was a shout that brought the walls of Jericho down it was a shout that brought that fortified wall down and as we make this loud shout of the name of Jesus please hear me every bondage every witchcraft every activity of darkness tying down your destiny and would not let you to rise it must give way right now I hear the chains falling hey, hey. I hear the chains falling over your life and your destiny I hear the chains Hallelujah. Now listen very carefully. Before we shout, there are two people in the congregation right now. The power of God is going to come upon them with a loud shout to the hearing of everyone. Please bring them out. Right now. Break chain. Break, break, chains, break. We prophesy. Break, chains, break, break, chains, break. Ah, break, chains. I tell you there are angels here are you ready at the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name and as you shout that name every power and every force tying down your destiny must release you right now are you ready at the count of three one two three shout Jesus I command right now every power tying down destinies every power be broken now bring them out be broken now every force of witchcraft spirits of ancestry in the name that is above all names I decree and declare you are broken now you are broken now you are broken now Broken by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Break spirits of ancestry, break yokes of darkness, tying down families, tying down destinies. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm still praying. Hear me. There are people here. You never seem to be able to move forward. As an individual and as a family. It looks like a force tying you down. The only thing growing in your life is your age. I want to pray for you. The power of God will come upon you right now every demonic orchestration we're still going to shout that name again this time around fire falls from heaven to burn everything that is not of god are you ready now one one more time two three shout jesus bring them out them out in the name of Jesus 
I'm telling you, I'm seeing a vision and I'm just in fire. Fire, help, help her, hold that lady. Please hold them so they don't injure themselves, ushers. Fire. Atmosphere. Sheep now. Chains we broke. Rain now. Holy Spirit. Move now. Heaven open. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Sheep now. Chains we broke. Rain now. Holy Spirit. Move now. Heaven's open. Heaven's open. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name Lokia. Who is Lokia? I'm hearing a name Lokia. I want to pray for you. You are wearing yellow. You are wearing a yellow dress up and down. Lokia. Is there someone like that? There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus Break every chain Break every chain Break every chain What's your name? I want to pray for you Listen The Lord is visiting you and visiting your family This is what I'm seeing Because I'm seeing you crying and you are saying Lord how long? And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that captivity comes to an end. I stretch my hands right now. May the power of God come upon you. I break that chain now in the name of Jesus Christ. Break chains. Break. Break chains. Break. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Godia. Who is Godia? Godia. Godia, I presume that there might be a number of people. But I'm going to be praying for the sick now. Godia, I want to pray for you. Who is that? What is your name, my dear? Godia. There is someone with HIV in the congregation here. I'm seeing the Lord healing that person right now. HIV. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that healing is permanent right now. It's a supernatural manifestation of the power of God. Now listen. I'm seeing the number 13. And the Lord is telling me there is fire falling on 13 people all over the congregation right now. And listen. The Lord is saying as that fire falls... He's bringing an end to witchcraft over that family. This is what I'm hearing. 13. I stretch my hands right now. All over. 13 people. Bring them out. The power of God is coming upon them right now. In the name that is above all names. My left to my right. In the name that is above all names. There is a lady God is bringing deliverance right now. Even to your family. Thank you Jesus. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Help that woman, please. Hear me. Before I begin to pray for the sick, we are going to pray. I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute. Everything you are tired of seeing in your life, I'm agreeing with you. Declare that it must leave you now. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Hold on, please. Just bring them out and...
the power of God is coming on someone. Every night you go to sleep, you must see dead people. Dead people speaking to you, calling you, asking you to come. This is what I'm seeing. Right now, the Lord wants to separate you from the spirit of the dead. For the Bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common. It is appointed unto man to die once, not twice. After it, the judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying right now. Anyone who is under the yoke and the manipulation of the spirit of the dead, hear me. I speak as one sent and in the name of Jesus, that name that is above all names. I command a separation between you and that spirit now. 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 The spirit of the dead. I curse you. The spirit of the dead. Over men and women. The spirit of the dead. I curse you. By the God of heaven. The living and the dead have nothing in common. The Lord is asking me to pray and separate men from the spirit of the dead i'm praying it again anyone here who is under the influence of any strange spirit of the dead my bible says christ has been exalted above every name above every throne dominion and every name that is named therefore be free right now be free right now be free right now Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Creator of, say, Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? stretch my hands to you in the name of Jesus may that grace from heaven right now let it come upon you you will move from glory to glory and from grace to grace receive that anointing right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus what's what's his name I'm seeing a whirlwind in a vision and this represents confusion and chaos. And the Lord is saying he's bringing order to a family here. It's like that family is in loggerheads. Nobody can talk to themselves. People fighting people. And the Lord is saying by reason of this crusade, he's bringing order and peace to that family. I don't know 
know who that family is, but in the name of Jesus, receive this as a prophetic word. I pray for you, sirs, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, whether you are an usher or not, be sensitive. Two people will run out now by the Spirit of God. It's the anointing that is coming on them. Just hold them so they don't injure themselves. Two people. I just saw this in a vision. The power of God will come on them and they will start running out. Hold them, hold them so they don't injure themselves. Can we pray for the sick now? Now, please listen. Listen, hold on. Let me your attention, everybody, please. Tomorrow is the last night. I'm about to pray for the sick. And I want to make a request. Listen, please. Tomorrow night, I want to request everyone when you are coming here, I want you to write your prayer request. Everything that must live your life and destiny we are going to pass it round. We are going to be praying. And one of the things we are going to be dealing with tomorrow by the grace of God is the unity of the Tarot Nation. And we are going to be breaking the divisive powers. The spirits that divide us as a people is going to be a prophetic thing time here tomorrow and then we are going to be praying over every request here the most accurate representation of your desire the bible says in mark 11 and verse 24 it says what things soever ye desire when ye pray it says believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them what things soever that's what the bible says so please do well to know that for your loved ones who are not here represented, you can do well to ask them to text their request and you can write it and submit it on their behalf. Let the God that answers by fire that he will arise over our land. But for now, I want to pray for the sick. We saw the marvelous manifestation of the hand of God. For a few minutes tonight, let me pray for the sick. And like we did yesterday, listen carefully. I'm going to pray and rebuke every spirit of infirmity. And when I pray, here is what I want you to do. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. And the moment you find out that there is a miracle, some of you who could not testify yesterday, a few of you, probably you could now join them so that we start the testimony of tonight from you. But we'll take a few testimonies only and then we're going to pray. I believe in miracles. I believe in the gospel that is backed up with and by the power of the Holy Spirit. We cannot afford to preach a powerless gospel. No, we have to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ with power. Our fathers preached this gospel with power and we cannot afford to do otherwise. It is the name that is above every other name. And one more time, Jesus will be glorified in our midst. Now lay your hands, please, wherever you are trusting God for a miracle. Go ahead. Lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, may I please request that you make contact with your chest. Go ahead. Believe Jesus. Lay your hands right there. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty.
for the Lord God Almighty In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that is back of infirmities by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare right now, let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I command every blind eye be open right now in the name of Jesus. Every deaf ear be open right now in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition be healed right now in the name of Jesus. palpitations the Lord is healing someone from heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing someone from pile you have a painful pile be healed right now in the name of Jesus there's someone you have fibroid this is what I'm seeing and it causes severe pain and severe bleeding. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Right now. Right now. The power of God is coming upon you. And that devil leaves your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know. I don't know if it is goiter. But I'm seeing something that looks like a swelling around someone's neck. As I'm praying right now. That demonic growth dissolves right now. In the name of Jesus. All those with bone conditions. Crutches, wheelchairs, bone conditions. In the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, be healed right now. Be healed right now. The Lord is showing me someone, you have severe pain. Your back area here, sometimes when you get up in the morning, it takes you a long time to be able to stretch. The power of God is coming upon you right now. There's someone with a kidney issue. I don't know what it is, but I'm hearing kidney. 
in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you brand new kidneys right now. Brand new kidneys right now. There's someone your your right leg. I don't know if it's that you cannot walk with it or you cannot move effectively with it. But by the power of the Holy Ghost right now, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon that leg. And you'll be able to move it freely right now. You'll be able to move it freely right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, you came for this crusade and you could not see. You couldn't see. I don't know if it's that you could not see very well. But right now, as I'm praying, you begin to see light flashing towards your eyes. May that eye be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer. You have a severe case of ulcer. The power of God is touching you right now. You will see a big relief. Your chest area. Let there be freedom for you right now. In the name of Jesus. There are at least three or four people I see in my vision. The Lord is healing from diabetes, sugar diabetes. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Sugar diabetes, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Now, hold on please. There is a woman here I'm seeing in my vision. You've not been able to have a child. Every time you get pregnant, someone comes to you in the night when you are sleeping and he comes to molest you. A few days after that, it's like bleeding and miscarriage. The Lord is asking me to pray for that person now. The power of God is coming upon you. That demonic covenant you have with spirits that will not let you be with child, I command be free right now. Be free right now. Wherever that person is, be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. The Lord is asking me to pray, and although I'm ministering healing, but the Lord is asking me to pray for a group of people. Every time you go to bed, all that you see is you see yourself in your old house. You see yourself in a secondary school, a place you were once there, and it's like you are doing something that never finishes. I want to pray for you in the name that is above all names. Everything connecting you to yesterday and will not allow you to go forward. Right now, let fire from heaven break that separation. The cause that separation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, my God, miracles are happening in this place. Whether I mention your case or not, be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone they brought to this crusade ground. The power of God is touching that person now. It's as if you have, it's as if, I don't know if this is like madness. The person seems to have some level of psychosomatism or so. The power of God is coming on that person right now. I declare normalcy to your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Whether I mention your case or not. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I'm going to request that you do what you could not do. If you could not walk, walk. If you could not talk, talk. If you could not, if you could not hear, let your ears be open. I want you to check yourself. The moment you find out there are miracles happening all over, I'd like you to check yourself. The moment you see that there is a miracle, I want you to run and come here like we did yesterday. Come to the aisle. There are a few pastors here who are waving their hands, they will receive your testimony very, very quickly, very, very quickly. We are going to be singing while they come. The moment you find out that something has happened to you, there is healing, there is perfection. Some of you under the anointing yesterday, that happened to you. Um, the person who was healed from the crutch yesterday, there is someone sitting where that person sat yesterday. Mama, this woman wearing yellow, 
She's sitting down where that same person sat yesterday. Mama, look at me. Carry your crutch. Lift it up. In the name of Jesus, walk. Come. Come. Don't be afraid. Come. Come. Are you seeing what Jesus... I don't know this woman from anywhere. The Lord just spoke to me that he wants to repeat what he did yesterday. Are you celebrating miracles here? Every other person who could not walk, please don't force them. We are not faking it here. Don't put pressure on anyone. But anybody holding a crutch and you could not walk, lift it and begin to walk. Lift it and begin to walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it and begin to walk. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I release miracles right now. All over this place. All over. Please don't force them. Don't force them. If they try and they cannot walk, keep them there. Sir, lift your crutch. Lift it. Walk. Come. Walk. Come. 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 Mama, in the name of Jesus, life, help her so that she does not fall. In the name of Jesus, sir, lift your crutch and walk. Come. Please don't force them. Don't force them. We are not faking it here. Look what Jesus is doing. Are you celebrating miracles? Please don't force that person. Don't put pressure on any one of them. In the name of Jesus, lift your crutch. I'm seeing someone there. Lift it. Don't be afraid. Walk. Come. 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 In the name of Jesus, come. 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 Mama, come, walk. Look at what Jesus is doing. Lift your crutch, come. Another miracle is happening there. Come, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare, everyone who could not walk, begin to to walk now begin don't be afraid ask people to come out right now for, for testimonies but I'm seeing there is a miracle Jesus Christ are you seeing what God is doing here Hallelujah, you have won the victory, hallelujah, hallelujah, you have won it all. the sister what happened to him accident yes, the leg broke how long Since from April. you could not walk yes. sir let the devil see you walk go ahead walk Look at the legs. Look at this. It's broken completely in an accident. Another miracle has happened there. Are you celebrating Jesus? Listen. Let me share something with you. Please look at me. You see, when miracles happen like this, 
They are not just showing that a man of God is powerful. No, no, it's beyond that. There is no man. You think I have the power to do this? No, sir. No. Please make sure you don't force anybody. Like this. I want you to understand the message behind miracles. It is Jesus saying, I love you. A miracle is a letter from Jesus to you. Saying, I love you. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. But you are here and a miracle has happened to you. I want you to run out here right now. Let's celebrate them as they come. Everyone who has received a miracle, quickly, don't be ashamed. Please give them, give them room if they are coming to testify. Celebrate them as they come. Confirm them the moment there is a miracle, let them come here. Are you celebrating people coming? My goodness. Come, come, check yourself, do, do what you couldn't do. The moment you find out there is a miracle, make sure there is a miracle. Once there is a miracle, please come, quickly, quickly. If they are coming to testify, don't stop them. Come. Quickly, let's have them here and then we'll pray. For all those who, are, who have been healed here, in the name of Jesus, I seal your miracle. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, these deformities and these deficiencies will never return to you again. You are healed now, you are healed forever in the name of jesus christ please return back to your seats rejoicing for the sake of time we may not be able to allow you share your testimony just a few all right go ahead so we have a miracle here of a severe pile kids pile an ulcer for 11 years. Come 11 on. years. After the declaration, he was healed. What's your name, my friend? My name is Obed Johanna. Obed Johanna. Yes, sir. For how long? This issue of blood is your condition. You came here with severe bleeding, but right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead that demonic occurrence leaves your right now in Jesus name I pray yes very quickly oh dear daddy this this man has been suffering from uh, um, at, um, ulcer since June last year ulcer it began on his birthday and he used to take 20 injections in a month all right. right now he's 18. What kind of ulcer is that? 20 injection? Where? Doctor. By a medical doctor? Yes, sir. Interesting. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord has healed you. You remain healed and perfected right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. The next person, very quickly.
quickly, we have to rush. Yes. Let's celebrate miracles here. This yes. Had been having um, severe migraine pain for severe days. migraine. Yes, sir. What's happening to mama now careful so she doesn't she's trying to walk please take it easy with them mama in the name of jesus the lord perfect you the lord perfect you in, in jesus name yes please quickly migraine for three months complete migraine in the name of jesus it goes now and goes forever in jesus name yes please she couldn't see now, now out of her in the name of jesus christ yes she couldn't see but why you ministered and called out cases for eyes she, be, she be began to see clearly mama could not see are you sure yes. mama yes you could not see something enter my eyes news on god but I I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look at me. Look at me, my brother Lee. Have a message from the Lord, hallelujah, please only that you look at me. I decree and declare, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, your healing is permanent. I stretch my hands and I declare, you remain healed, those eyes are open forever, in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Let's have two or three and then I just speak. I want to speak a prophetic word over you tonight and then we leave. Yes, please, very and quickly. We have the case of a growth on his has had goiter for three years. Goiter? Yes, immediately you mentioned goiter. She started feeling it disappear and dissolve. How long, my dear? Three years. Touch it now. Any pain? Completely. My God. In the name of Jesus, goiter leaves never to return i cause the spirit that is back of it in jesus name i pray yes please we have the case of a pain on the right leg pain the hip i decree and declare be healed right now by the power of the holy spirit uh, also, uh, let's have two more and then we're done yes also, Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.